Which one is better, Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 or the latest T-Rex 2 watch from Amazfit? In my opinion, both the watches are not comparable. T-Rex 2 is targeting the hardcore outdoor sports crowd, whereas Samsung Watch 4 is targeting average daily users. A more realistic comparison will be of Amazfit GTR 3 Pro and Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. However, for the sake of it, let's just compare the two watches anyway. Starting off with the build quality, when it comes to pure durability, Amazfit T-Rex 2 wins hands down. It's no competition at all. Amazfit T-Rex 2 is built like a tank as it is made of polymer alloy material. Similarly to add durability to the overall build, strap is made of similar polymer material and screwed onto the case. You will also be able to enjoy any water-based sports as the T-Rex 2 is water resistant up to 100 meters underwater. Not just that, this watch can even survive the extreme temperature of minus 30 degrees Celsius. While there is a significant upgrade in the latest Amazfit T-Rex 2 watch, but it also has some downgrades. And one of them is the lack of Gorilla Glass 3 which is present in the latest Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. However, during my usage, I didn't notice any scratches on the Amazfit T-Rex 2 and I am pretty rough with my smartwatches. While Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 might not be as rugged as T-Rex 2, but it isn't a slouch either. Besides featuring Gorilla Glass, the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 also meets the military standard 810G like T-Rex 2. Another advantage that the Watch 4 has over the Amazfit T-Rex 2 is in the weight department. Amazfit T-Rex 2 weighs around 66 grams which is more than double the 30 gram weight of the 44mm Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So if you don't like wearing heavy watches then T-Rex 2 might disappoint you. I prefer both but while doing sports activities like running, I found Watch 4 and Garmin 245 Music to be more comfortable. Both of the watches are extremely lightweight and I didn't feel I was wearing them. T-Rex 2 on the other hand felt a little heavy. It wasn't a deal breaker but it is something that Amazfit can hopefully improve upon in the future. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 also features a quick release mechanism so you can replace the strap on the Watch 4. On the other hand, Amazfit T-Rex 2 doesn't. You can technically replace it but it is not a standard strap. So your options are limited when it comes to third party straps and those that are available are of subpar quality. Still, if I have to pick a winner in the build department, I will pick Amazfit T-Rex 2. I mean, it has a G-Shock like look which I like. And not just that, it can survive some pretty extreme conditions. I mean, Amazfit sent this watch to space and it was still working when it came back to the ground. So the score is now 1-0. The display of the smartwatch can make or break it in my opinion. I am happy to report that both the watches won't disappoint you. Amazfit T-Rex 2 comes with a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 454 by 454 and it can do a peak brightness of 1000 nits. I have to say that during my usage I never found the display to be a problem whether it's outdoor or indoors. Also the ambient light sensor on the watch was responsive enough to changing lighting conditions. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 features a bigger 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display and it has a lower 450 by 450 resolution. However, it is too capable of 1000 nits of brightness which ensures super readability under direct sunlight. The ambient light sensor on Watch 4 is pretty snappy to changing environments too. In this department, I think it's a draw, so the score right now is 2-1. OS is what makes or breaks a smartwatch. Amazfit T-Rex 2 is powered by the Zep OS and the watch 4 runs on the Wear OS 3.0. Truth be told, I like the Wear OS over the Zep OS when it comes to UI. Samsung's One UI is more user friendly and easy to use. I found the UI well optimized to be used only with a finger. You also get touch sensitive bezels which is quite useful for reading notifications. Along with that you get access to Play Store to download apps as well. On Amazfit, you cannot download many apps or games as the App Store has less than the total number of 20 apps available right now. Also, Zep OS on the T-Rex 2 is a little different than the traditional Zep OS on GTR 3 Pro. On T-Rex 2, it is customized for a button-based interface as well. I am going to be honest, if you get used to button-based UI, then you won't be using Touch again. In terms of the overall experience, I would say Wear OS is superior. You can install YouTube Music, Spotify or transfer your music MP3 files. You can play MP3 music on other Amazfit watches but not on this one. Besides that, you can also pick up or make calls using the Watch 4. There is also built-in Wi-Fi support which you can use to check our latest videos and subscribe to Wearholic. You can also connect pair of Bluetooth earphones and leave your phone behind on morning runs. Or you can use a built-in speaker but it's not good enough for outdoors. Also while Amazfit lets you reply to notifications from certain apps that's not the case on Watch 4. It supports a wide variety of third-party apps for replying 
you can even type and send a new message on Watch 4. So in the OS department you get a lot of features on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, which makes Watch 4 the winner of the round. This brings the score to 2-2. In the health and sports department, I have to say both the watches have a lot to do. Sleep tracking on the watch 4 is kind of a mixed bag with issues ranging from the inaccurate time recorded to low deep sleep recording. However, watch 4 offers way better running analysis and free running coaching programs to athletes. And if you are a runner, then Amazfit isn't for you as it still has a lot to do in that department. One area where Amazfit T-Rex 2 has an upper hand when it comes to running is recording heart rate. Amazfit delivers way more consistent and reliable performance when tracking your heart rate during your runs. Similarly, some profiles like Jump Rope were way more polished on the Amazfit T-Rex 2. And some strength training profiles like Arm Curls and Arm Extension were way more polished on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Basic features like step count, stair climb recording and heart rate while resting or doing day-to-day -day activities were pretty reliable on both the watches. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 offers more than 90 plus built-in profiles which are less than 150 profiles on T-Rex 2. However, most profiles on Amazfit are generic which just record your heart rate, time duration, calories burned and other generic data. But it could be convenient to have so it can be useful for some and a gimmick for others. Another issue that I recently noticed with Amazfit was in the training effect department. I did multiple workouts on the watch and in almost all workout training effect on aerobic and anaerobic is being shown as excessive. In my honest opinion, this match is a draw between Amazfit T-Rex 2 and Watch 4. With that, the score is now 3-3. Usually I would have leaned towards Watch 4 but the built-in triathlon profile and multi-sports profiles on T-Rex 2 make the match draw. One area where Amazfit T-Rex 2 is the clear winner is the sensor department. Don't get me wrong, Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 does feature quite a bit of improvement. However, I think it's no way close to Amazfit T-Rex 2. It comes with an acceleration sensor, gyroscope sensor, geomagnetic sensor, barometric altimeter and ambient light sensor. Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 comes with an accelerometer, barometer, gyro sensor, geomagnetic sensor, light sensor and bioelectrical impedance analysis sensor. Now you might be wondering, the bioelectrical impedance analysis sensor should definitely score a point for Samsung. However, I don't particularly find it useful. What about you? Do you find it useful? Tell me in the comment box down below. What really makes me say Watch 4 is no way close to T-Rex 2 is the support for multiband navigation. And really, T-Rex 2 has a shorter ping time and is quite accurate in tracking your runs, hikes, cycling or any other outdoor activity. So this brings the score to 4-3 and now Amazfit is in the lead. Next up is the battery life which most of you would already be having an idea who is going to win. And to cut the long story short, T-Rex 2 with 3 hours of GPS activity still lasts me almost a week. Watch 4 on the other hand never crossed 1.5 day mark at least for me. This brings the score to 5-3. So T-Rex 2 is definitely better, right? Unfortunately it isn't as simple. Yes, on paper and technically T-Rex 2 is better. However, how important are app support and smart features for you? Also GPS is a few milliseconds faster and heart rate is more accurate which is a big deal for Amazfit watches. I say that because there are other watches like GTR3 Pro that take a lot of time to get a GPS connection. But what about the continuous excessive aerobic and anaerobic metric that it shows me after every workout? And if you think I am nudging you towards Samsung Watch 4 then that's not true either. It has its fair share of problems like inaccurate heart rate tracking while running and not to mention average battery life. So which one should you pick? Simple, what is important for you? Is it battery life? Support for iOS and Android device? Decent sleep and heart rate tracking? Then go with T-Rex 2. Rugged build? Go with T-Rex 2. If you want ability to install apps like Gboard then use voice to text reply, Spotify, YouTube music or maybe games or maybe you want to take calls. Use Samsung Pay to make payments, go on occasional runs and you don't mind charging your watch. In that case go with Watch 4. So which one are you going to go with? Tell me in the comment box down below. I'll be leaving a link for the Amazfit T-Rex 2 and Watch 4 playlist in the description box and in the i button. It will help you in deciding which one is a better watch for you. So guys that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Wearholic. We'll be coming up with more interesting videos like this in the future. So please subscribe and help us reach the 1000 subscribers mark. See you next time.